Protesters have gathered outside the Royal Bank of Scotland headquarters in Edinburgh. Members of Indigenous Canadian communities protesting against the financing of tar sands projects in Alberta were joined by environmental groups as the bank's annual general meeting took place. The demonstration came as the £7.7 million pay package for RBS boss Stephen Hester was approved. We're here today to call out the uh, board of the Royal Bank of Scotland and to send a message directly to the shareholders uh, about the involvement of the RBS in terms of its investment portfolio in the world's largest and most destructive development known as the Canadian tar sands. And it is extremely controversial, not only because of the fact that it's the most carbon intensive development ever in the history of mankind, especially in a time of climate change, uh, but also because of the catastrophic human rights situation that's rolling out in local communities who are suffering disproportionately, extremely high cancer rates, loss of natural habitat, loss of food security, loss of water security and air quality as well. RBS have produced all kinds of smoke and mirrors or greenwash or window dressing around their finance of fossil fuels and they remain the UK bank to finance fossil fuel projects around the world most heavily. They produce things including the Group Sustainability Report or the Energy Financing Report, but nothing that's an actual policy that limits their finance of fossil fuels in any way. We've been calling for them to do that for the past five years, and we've yet to see an actual clear policy setting that out for them, and, and that's what we want to see soon.